Oh man, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black is just a ton of fun to fight with. Hello everyone, so as you can see I'm going to be using Goku Black. Uh, well, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black Rory, you can't really say she's just Goku Black anymore because you know it's Super Saiyan Rose. So yeah, this was my first online fight I had, and really like my first fight I had with Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Um, well, it's not a tongue twister, it's just repetitive, you know, saying Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black over and over again. So yeah. Um, yeah, so first guy's like, what, level 85? He's running Super Kamehameha and Special Beam Can. So, you know, they both take three bars of Q to use and they're both quite fast, but of course, Special Beam Can can't be blocked, so that's pretty interesting. So there he goes, full maximum charge, uh, so I figured, you know what, I may join, well, may as well join him as well. The only thing I don't really like about Super Saiyan Rose is, well, you know, Goku Black is, and I guess this may be like the most important part, is that his moveset is, you know, kind of, well, it is a fun moveset, but if you take away maximum charge, because that's to be fair, I've said this before, in 1v1 PvP, you're just not going to get the chance to use maximum charge. So if you take that away, that's free attacks, and then he's got instant transmission. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm glad they gave him instant transmission rather than just leaving it blank, like from the live stream, because on well, in the live stream like a few days ago, as I've been recording this, he only had as his uh, supers maximum charge, sudden death beam, and divine retribution. So I'm glad they did give him a third, sorry, a fourth. Um, Super, well, um, but yeah, I mean, look, let's be fair, like I would have said, maximum charge, you're not going to be, like, you're just not going to be able to use it if you're fighting someone who knows what they're doing in 1v1 PvP, or at the very least, you just won't be able to use it for an extended amount of time, so it's kind of pointless, and with instant transmission, I mean, it's kind of pointless given that we have sudden death beam, and sudden death beam has two uses, in, in my opinion, at least two that I know of, you can use it as a sort of like um, a counter, so, you know, pretty much like, Pressure sign, but I'm guessing it's a super. So it's a, well, you know, a key. Uh, well, yeah, a key-based super rather than a strike-based super, and you can just use. Well, you can just use it as well to, you know, just a, a slightly more slower version of instant transmission. So, given us both instant transmission and then sudden death beam, it's like, eh, like in my opinion, it's like giving us maximum charge and full power charge. It's like it's the same thing, one slightly better. Look. Neither of them take any key to use, like of course Sudden Death Beam does take key to use if you actually use the blast, you know, so if your opponent hits you, but if I had my guard broken now and my opponent went for, for example, Supernova, well, you know, Kula Supernova, I could then use Sudden Death Beam to then, you you know, just to warp in front of my opponent to protect myself, so, you know, it's just, again, given us instant transmission, it's kind of pointless with this moveset. Like, I would have preferred something like, quite honestly, something like Energy Shot, um, like, it's a really generic attack, but given that Goku Black doesn't really have any sort of beam... Su well, you know, well, okay, he does have Super Saiyan Rose... Go well, Super Saiyan Rose, well, he does have Super Black Kamehameha Rose, and of course that is a beam attack, but it's slow and it takes 5 bars of key to you, so it's not really a... Well, it's not necessarily... Well, you know, it's just not necessarily a reliable one. Now, yes, you do have Divine Retribution as well, which does have two uses, you know, if you just use it, like if I used it right now, it will sound like a beam attack at my opponent. And I think if you use it in the middle of a combat, or if you're close to your opponent, it will, you know, use, like it's kind of like that, um, like a sword uh, coming down on your opponent. Like I forgot which one it is, like, but this was, like what, the second fight I ever had using this character, using a Rose Goku Black, so I'm still learning him, so yeah. But I would have preferred, instead of instant transmission, just giving us something like, I don't know, well, like, what well, I mean, I do know, something like energy shot. Again, I'd say that would be pretty cool. Or even just a black Kamehameha, you know, just a reskin version of Kamehameha, you know, just for the utility more than anything. So, yeah. So, of course, you know, this fight's almost all bad. This guy's picked Super Saiyan Rose, got back as well, not really a surprise. Again, nice pepper block off there, and I finish him off with Divine Retribution. Yeah, very nice ending. Um, I think the next guy picks... I'm not sure what the next guy picks. It's either Super Saiyan Blue Kai and Goku or his avatar. We'll see right now. By the way, I love his voice. Just very cool. Oh no, it's Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So I thought this was rather interesting. Now, I think it's this fight as well. This guy wasn't necessarily amazing, but what made this fight quite hard for me was that, he, like, I think it was a three bar session to start off with, and he must have dropped like a two bar. So. Some of these fights are ranked and play matches, and I think some are, with, well, they definitely are with and without limitations, because, look, I would have probably made this uh, video a bit longer, but, like, no one was joining, which was really surprising, like, I think I recorded these about maybe an hour ago, like, maybe 35-ish minutes ago, so about 
9 p.m. UK time, so I'm thinking, well, you know, that's kind of like a decent, like, it's still early in, like, the States, so I would have thought people were still playing, but I mean, it's like a Tuesday, so, yeah. As you mentioned this, I'm recording this, and this video is going out on the 25th of April. Divine Last Soul, the normal version of the Super Black Kamehameha, Divine Retribution, um, Always Slide, and I think that's it, I'm not too sure. We do not know how to get those attacks yet, so I will make a video as soon as we know how to get them, like, officially now. I just seem to get it from the TP Metal Store, but you won't be able to change your console date to like a certain time to then make them appear. Or maybe they're just waiting for like um, everyone to get like this update, then I'm going to roll them out later on, and then once they find, well, once they appear in the TP Metal Store for the first time, they'll then be available forever. Like, I think that's how Boljack's outfit works now, I'm not too sure, maybe Tinch, I'm not too sure, but I do remember them saying that, well, when they released the Boljack uniform, well, the Boljack outfit rather, I remember them saying that it will now be a permanent feature in the TP Metal Store, so that outfit is definitely going to stay in forever now. So here goes for a super common heart. I would have perfect blocked it, but if I messed that up, it would have either broken my stamina or left me with even lower stamina than I have now, or it would have hit me and wouldn't be able to, you know, vanish, obviously, or use my vested scale, so that would have beaten me. So I decided to play a bit safe and go for Divine Lasso there. I mean, Divine Lasso, that's just such, an, oh, such a nice name. Like, in Dark and Battle, what's it called? Look, I think it's I think it's in Dark and Battle, um Fierce Blade God Rush or something like that. Or Fierce God Slice or something like that. That's really cool. So this guy plays as Zamasu and this was the first time and so far the on time I fought Zamasu online and this what well this fight was a bit laggy as well, but take that for what you will. I, I like his ultimate, um, what's it called? Oh, damn it. Divine Severance or something like that. Or look, I forgot what it's called, something like that. I can't remember if it says divine in it or if if it begins with I or something like that, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, I would say with Zamasu, like, his moveset is a bit underwhelming as well. One ultimate, like, just give him, like, like, I don't think, like, I don't think any character should have just one ultimate. Like, if it's, like, a generic character, like, I don't know, um, Krillin, as an example, give him, of course, like, you know, like, uh, what was it? The Destructile Disc Barrage, and then just give him something like the full power energy wave, volley, or the wave, or the full power energy volley, or the wave. Like, I think for Krillin, that's what they've done, but I don't think any cast character should just have one ultimate. Like, just give them, like, one of the two genetic ones. Or maybe something like Super Key Explosion. That may be OP, but, I mean, who knows? Like, Super Key Explosion, the f oh, wonderful ending, like, very nice. Like, Zamasu was blonde to smithereens. You didn't, like, after the. Needles exploded. You just didn't see him after that. So one like for one rest in peace, Zamasu. <laughs> yeah. So like I was saying, like um, the generic ultimate you could say are the of course the full power energy wave and the full power energy volley and maybe super key explosion because you know it's like just an, exp um, an explosive wave. So this guy picks the Dragon Ball Super version of Trunks. I thought that's quite fitting. He goes for Super Saiyan 2. I perfect block it. Break his guard, and I did actually want to go for Divine Lasso there, but I go for the Super Black Count and Hard Rose instead, so that's my bad. Yeah, we'll lock off here, but I do get um, a chance to um, recover on my key, so I go, I um, charge up. I forgot what I did there, I think I went for uh, Divine Retribution, pretty nice. Like, I'm wondering if they're going to give us more presets, or like, you know, like movesets of, well, Goku Black as well, and Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and Zamasu in DLC Pack 4, which has been officially confirmed to be released in June. Like, Bando and Nanko released, like, um, I guess, like, a spreadsheet of, like, the events that they have coming up, like, the um, invasion events, which I think it's only Freezer so far, which is fun great, wonderful, kill me. And, um, the character exclusive war tournaments, and I think for, like, June, they mentioned, uh, I think it's, um, a GT one? You know, it's, like, Trunks, or GT Trunks, Kid Goku and I think it's Pan as well, like for like I said for June, and then they've got the Super Villain, or I think it's called like the, they like called it the Mega Villain or something like that. War tournament said like the uh, Super Villain version of like Yamcha, I think, on Mega Shenron, Cell, uh, Golden Freezer, and, uh, and uh, Metacool and stuff like that. But they mentioned in June, yeah, that's when that's going to happen. And they also mentioned the DB Super Pack Four, so that's pretty nice. But I do wonder if we will get more DLC after this, because I've mentioned this before, because, um, you know, they promised at least one year of support for Xenoverse 2 after it was released, so that support ends in late October 2017. DLC Pack 4 is coming out in June 2017, I was going to say 2040, but not uh, June 2017. 
So that's like four months of like support that they promised. I wonder if they give us like more free updates, more DLC, a second season pass. I just hope it's not like those character exclusive war tournaments. Because yes, they're fun, but if that's what they consider support, that, that's just a bit lame in my opinion. So they went for a normal Kamehameha. Tried to perfect block it, didn't work. I think he goes for another one. He goes for in transmission. I go for it as well because I was thinking he's going to go for Super God Fist. He didn't. Went for... Uh, Divine Retribution there. Love that attack. Looks so cool. Um, yeah. Uh, I think in a moment he goes, like I said, he goes for another common out a normal version, not a suit, well, not an ultimate rather, and I perfect block almost all of it, like two hits. So he goes for super common I perfect block, I think the first two hits, so I, think I messed up the last two. But yeah, I mean, I do find it quite interesting that they are definitely giving us Super yeah, super Black Kamehameha as an ultimate, but they gave us Super Black Kamehameha Rose as an ultimate first. I'm wondering, well, maybe... I mean, go back to what I said just, maybe a DLC pack in the future, just for transformations for both existing characters and creative characters, because there is a Super Soul that was added in the DLC free update. I think it's from Pale Quest 100 and... Eight, and you unlock it from Janemba, it's called something like he 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 or something like that and it's a margin super soul and it only activates when you use the purify well the purification form so I thought that's quite interesting so I don't think like someone quote me on it well you know someone don't uh, quote me rather but someone remind me prior to this if there was a super soul in the game which was you know which was meant for uh, purified margin credit characters because I just don't think there was so just kind of interesting that they added that in plus when you go for Super Saiyan and Super Vegeta and I don't know about Fuji Super Saiyan because I've not used it since the update it's actually faster in terms of when you can actually recover and like move about after you use it but I'll say maybe like half a second but that's still quite long so you know there's um, quite a few you know not well kind of like well definitely not fixes but you know quite a few updates to transformations in this DLC update so it just makes me wonder if I'm, if I'm adding well getting ready to add more transformations later on that would be pretty cool that might actually give Xenoverse 2 you know a fresh uh, bit of life to be honest because you know you know the fact if a kid sees that you can turn Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Rose, Super Saiyan Rage I don't think they're going to give us all four of those in this game or even Xenoverse 3 to be honest, but who knows, I'll do a video on that later on but, uh, at some point in the future. But you know, if a kid sees that, you know they're going to either buy the game or start playing it again. So it's like, it just makes sense to add like Super Saiyan Rose as a credit character option. Now, I know people disagree with that, saying like, um, you know, uh, what about other, trans uh, other races? Well again, I'm, I'm going to do an entire video talking about this in the future because it's something that I think is worth talking about. But going to the final fight for this video, like I've done a lot of rambling, like, I'm sorry, like... Yeah, um, he picks, I think it's the Super Saiyan Blue, Kai and Goku, um, yeah, right there, Super Saiyan Blue, Kai and Goku, and I perfect block it when, well, no, sorry, I tried to perfect block it when I went for the Super Saiyan uh, Blue, Kai transformation, and normally that would have broken your guard, and, you know, if you perfect block it, of course, that's not going to break your guard, but if you just try and block it, and you're too fast, and you actually block it, it'll smash your guard, but it didn't there, so I wonder if that's something that's new as well, so... I do then go for it again, and he goes for the times 10 version there. I just love how Goku Black there, it's just like, I just, it's just like he just couldn't give a toss. <laughs> oh man, I love this character. So yeah, uh, because, like, he, oh, I just noticed this, and this is actually quite scary. Um, he was vanishing there, and because um, he's in Super Saiyan Blue Kark in times 10, and the Super Soul he's using, it didn't take any stamina at all to vanish. Again, like, I've never noticed that before, so unless that's in something new as well in this update, again, let me know, because I just didn't realise that before, but, you know, I perfectly got the entire Kamehameha, and that broke off his guard, and I got all four, I think it was, what, uh, Divine Lasso, I don't know, but, or maybe the throw, whatever, but thank you guys for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed DLC Pack 3, and, with that being said, I'll see you next time. <laughs>